All right, everyone, Snack here, and welcome back to Hello Farm. As you can see, we have ourselves a nice uh, stable, and we also have here our beautiful horse. I forgot her name. Hmm. Anyway, uh, let's take a look around. Um, I think we're about to complete our greenhouse and the community center bundle, hopefully. Let's say hi to our lovely uh, chickens. Looks like they are getting ready to go out and about and say hi to our cows for now there's just four of them but eventually uh the cow family will definitely grow yeah we get our milk ready and it's like we're they're going out enjoying the sunlight let's just place these eggs in the mayo nice machine and also these milks looks like eggnog is calling us he wants us to play with him a bit. All right, there you go, my boy. And would you look at these guys? Our uh, tomato is ready. Oh, hey, look at this. Emily gave us something, a uh, sea urchin. Awesome. Uh, all right, looks like we are done with our farm chores. So we've already um, built a stable. Let's just go ahead and remove that. Now our next project is to upgrade the barn. And also, uh, we need to get a rainbow shell, which I don't know where to find yet. We've actually found a secret door in the one, one of the tunnel just uh, east from our farm. And it's asking to look for a rainbow shell and put it in the platform somewhere in the train uh, rail. I think that guy was called, uh, he called himself Mr. Key. We, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it seems like a mysterious dude. Look at the trees, they're growing with, a mo with some mosses. And again, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. And if you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe, especially that we are waiting for Chef RPG's uh, full release this uh, 12th of September. We're going to be doing a Let's Play series of that game. If you don't know this Chef RPG yet, you can check the descriptions below. I linked the, the trailer. Basically, it's like Stardew Valley, but you are, oh, oh, excuse me. It's it's like Stardew Valley. There are some farming, uh, social stuff, but mainly you are a chef and you get to hunt your ingredients, not just farm them, to cook delicious foods. And I'm pretty excited about it. So if you're looking forward to some gameplays of Chef RPG and games like that, again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Oh, I think we picked up something. It's a green buttoned vest. Haha. <laughs> wow. Nice. Okay, let's try it out. Oh, this looks so cool. Okay, now we are a dinosaur with uh, it look like now an elf. Yes, this green button vest looks like an elf cloth, right? Okay, let's see if we could reach Clint's place, the blacksmith. This looks like our golden trash bin or can is finished. Would you look at that? If at the upper right hand corner, and yep, we've made it. Good morning, Clint. Thank you for upgrading my trash can. And it looks like we have here uh Haley. Um she's thinking about uh sweet pea and she is so happy about it. Looks like everyone loves sweet pea. Even Vincent and uh Jazz, which is uh kinda great because uh I I thought that they are uh picky eater it looks like they like sweet pea and also penny oh this is so sweet i'm trying to finish the, this book but i keep getting distracted thinking of you that's so sweet i saw a snake out in the woods oh that is a scary hey mr snack hello vincent so hopefully we could get ourselves a rainbow shell maybe if we uh take a look at the uh by the beach maybe oh we have here uh, our girl alea oh we have here one uh regular and uh, we have some uh, summer squash seeds nice all right looks like everyone is getting settled in it's still 6 p.m. But Emily actually sent us this uh, sea urchins. I'm wondering if we gift this to her. Oh, okay. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun together. Just, I just know it. <laughs> yep, we are together with Leah, Emily, and um, Penny. Next is going to be Haley. All right, that was fun. I need a spice berry for a calzone. Okay, let's see if we do have spice berries right now. Don't. Mm, uh, let's see. We'll just head home and uh, check one of our gifting chests. Oh, luckily we have a spice berry up for grabs, just like that. And there you go, your spice berry, Mrs. Pam. Oh, get something for me. Awesome. Uh, okay. <laughs> this should help. Two forty. Uh, I think I'm gonna buy salad for my dear Leia since we've got this nice uh reward from Pam. Okay. See you, everyone. All right. Looks like. Everyone is asleep, but I just remembered um, to hang out with Abigail uh, around 8 p.m. at night. But looks like she is not home yet. Where could she be? Oh, we have here David the guinea pig. <laughs> looks like everything here looks fine. There's also a 
a pansal edition of Perry King. Looks like they just finished dinner. And oh, wait, is this a church? We have here a sword. Oh, okay. What makes an adventurer? Is it the tenacity to reach the greatest treasures? The bravery to fight through the fiercest monsters? Perhaps it is the ability to find excitement in the mundane. Although there are no incorrect answers, I've witnessed an ordinary man glow brilliantly in his element. To the one who breathed life to the moving. To the one who wrote the tales of many beings. The one who seeked the lure of the valley and perhaps one even beyond that, may your next adventure bring you many tales of the fascinating and stories of the untold. So you may explore the hidden wonders to your heart's desire once more. A fellow adventurer, a friend of many, a devoted husband. Oh, long live the king. Oh, wow. That's inspiring. Oh, could be the prairie king, right? Seems like a nice place. Okay, uh, let's just stay here a bit. I'm waiting for Abigail. It's now... 10 p.m. Where could she be? Oh, there she is. Haha. <laughs> Dad sometimes calls you his business partner. <laughs> Why are you mad? Yeah, we are. He get produce from me. He is going to freak out when he learns about the two of us hanging out. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, I have something for you. Um, this one here. Oh, she doesn't like it. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's go, Abigail. It, you told me you sent me an e a mail that you want to hang out with me after after 8 p.m. Let's see. Oh, she's asleep now. Hey. You said you want to hang out after 8, 8 p.m. All right. Looks like you're very tired for now. Get some good rest. All right. Let's let's just leave these uh, family at their own space so they could get good rest. And um, as for now. Oh, actually, um, our horse, Hoppy, would love some spice berry, I think. Oh, look at this. She's so happy with it. Okay, happy time to get some rest. Did a great job today. Let's just bring these corals, drop these corals in their shipping bin. Um, also this oyster. Looks like we, our um, clothing collection is growing. As you can see here, you guys, we have some shorts, skirt, fire, walker, boots. Nice. All right, time to get some good rest. And this is it, our 16th day of summer, year two. At least we got a thousand gold from that run. Looks like uh, it's going to be a minus day today because uh, the spirits are in good humor uh but i haven't really prepared uh meals yet for for our expedition mining expedition so especially that we're going to be mining in uh, the skull caverns we need to have a uh, good food to sustain us going down the mines good morning hoppy let's go time to work oh we have a new dinosaur egg that's awesome and let's just uh, squeeze out these milk from uh, these huge cows. More mayonnaise coming right up. And next is the cheese. All right. Well, in this case, uh, since we're going to go mining, let's just uh, craft ourselves some field snacks. We got uh, 12 from that. Wonderful. Wait, hold on. Look, this is like Pam's not here yet. Oh, well, it's Wednesday. Wednesday is uh, no work day for her. Not sure. It's already 9 p.m. 9 a.m. Oh, there she is. Hey, Pam, I've been waiting for you. I think she's going to be working at 10 a.m. My bad. I have something for you, Pam, so you could give me a discount. <laughs> We've given her like a lots of gifts already. Okay, off to a Calico Desert. And there she is. Oh, I, I remember. Let's say hi to, forgot her name, Sarah. Oh, Sandy. Yep. Oh, you missed the beautiful flower. I have some spice berry for you. <laughs> There you go. This looks wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, we also have coconut, some cactus fruit. Nice. And oh, actually, uh, yeah, for those who don't know yet, if you have a prismatic charge, uh, shard, uh, you walk by here while holding the prismatic char uh, shard and you will get this galaxy sword. In case you don't know yet. All right, let's go deep into the skull caverns. Right off the bat, we already have a ghost and a mummy. Oh, he just dodged us and hit us with one punch that hurts. One more hit and he is down. We get an omni and from that. Oh, we have here a mummy. If you look at the right side, I hate mummies. I don't know how to kill them. They just reanimate themselves after getting beaten up by our strong galaxy sword. But they just keep on coming. They really don't die, I think. So we just have to immobilize them and <laughs> run away. Oh, would you look at that? That guy just moved. And finally, we got our way downstairs. We all, all, almost uh, broke all the stones at that level. At least we got ourselves some gold. It looks like we have here a uh, purple slime. Could be stronger than we've ever... 
Oh, we get Dwarf Scroll 3. So far, this is the strongest slime we've ever encountered. It took like multiple hits from a galaxy sword. And we have here a baby dragon. I hate these guys. Okay, one more hit. Crit. Not a crit, but that was the last hit. Okay, um, we have here a ladder and a hole going down. Uh, I'm wondering what will happen if we go down the hole. Let's do it. Jump in. Oh, we fell down eight levels. Ouch. So that means we're going to lose some health. Yep, I did lost. I did, I did, uh... Oh, oh, wait, hold on. There's a lot of enemies. Yeah, we got we got some of our health removed right there when we fell down. And I, I'm thinking that uh, we could actually craft a rope that we could use and uh so that we, we could we won't have to fall down we'll just use it rappel ourselves going down with a rope i'm not sure if even that's possible but if you know about it guys kindly help me in the comments just tell me i appreciate it because i'm fairly um i'm not really that knowledgeable when it comes to the technicalities of this game i uh, just play and uh, chill out so any veterans uh out there you can share your knowledge to newbies like us thanks much and oh man we've almost fainted let's eat more field snack at least we'll reach level 15 we're now at level 14 right ah uh, run away these guys pack a punch now i want to stay away from this place and uh, we found a ladder going down the 15th floor awesome we have now oh Oopsie. Ah, uh, okay. That was a surprise. All right. Let's see if we could get ourselves down to level 20. It's now 6.30 p.m. We have six uh, field snacks left. And we got a ladder from these uh, baby slimes. Nice. Going down. And uh, the ladder going down. We just found it right away. We just get rid of this purple slime first and get this a uh, gold ore. And we are going down to level 17. Nice. I wonder how deep the skull caverns go. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. All right, that was close. We have one more incoming. So if there is a baby, a dragon, there could be a mama dragon, right? Man, I wonder how strong they are. I'm already having a hard time with these baby dragons. They really take out most of my HP. I see some ores. Let's just get, get through these ores first. And then head down and we're going down another baby dragon it's almost 10 p.m we are now at level 18 i'm wondering if we could go down to level 20 hopefully we can all right we're now level 19 and you're going down oh no yeah one last hit i think there you go oh boy it's now 11 p.m one more level to go before we hit the elevator and we have a baby dragon dragon incoming there she is. One last hit. We got, oh, rabbit's foot. Some say it's lucky. Ah, wow. Okay. And we've found the stairs going down and the elevator. Man, I did not think that we could reach level 20 at that state, but I'm glad we did. And, and the awesome part is that we still have time. Oh, although we have a new enemy now, it's a red bat. Uh, let's just get rid of this red bat first. And, uh, Okay, that was not that hard. Let's get this huge uh, rocks first and uh, head straight home. Oh, wait, wait, let me just get rid of this bat first. Okay, going up. Let's not overdo ourselves. So we need to go home. Awesome, that was fun. Happy is wondering where you've been. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Happy. Uh, I have something for you. I hope you like this cactus. Yeah, she likes it so much. Awesome. So we got a lot of stuff from that run and we've reached level 20 of the Skull Caverns. I'm so happy for today. And uh, for more videos, you can look at the lower part of the screen. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we may always walk with patience and kindness because that's what love is. See you on the next video.